to see what they've done for him to how he is now, you wouldn't know. No, and that's the biggest sense. thing yeah. to take from it is that it's a long journey, but how you see your child on day one is not how they're going to look like in six months' time. The skin, which I didn't realise, is an incredible organ and it heals incredibly quickly. The treatments that they, he went through here, and it's changing all the time, they're coming up with new procedures, um, just incredible. And I yeah. can't thank the hospital enough for that. Um, all the garments that he has, special bed sheets, just amazing and I put my faith in them and they just did an incredible job. You wouldn't know that he's had any trauma at all. He bounced back so quickly. Um, he was such a happy little boy beforehand. During the hospital stay he did turn into a slightly different character didn't he? Definitely he definitely regressed. And he became quite ang angry and mm. um, you know as you'd expect bored and moody and all the rest mm. of it in pain. in pain. But he's bounced back into his normal happy self. Mm. Um, he's not worried about his scar on his foot. No. Um, he's you know he's just a happy boy. Mm. He is. I'm, I'm okay now you know. Yeah. I was in that dark space and to be honest, as Sonny healed, that got much better. You know, seeing him heal helped me enormously. Mm. Um, I think you're okay, aren't you? Mm, yeah, I mean, I think um, Sonny definitely regressed when we got home. He he was three, Yeah. just turned three when the accident happened, literally a few days. It had been his birthday the week before. He, at that point, had been toilet trained. Um, that regressed. He went back into having to wear pull-ups and... He had gone yeah. from sleeping through the night to now not. He um, a lot more needy of you, didn't he? Very much needy. There's um, itching that comes with the burns oh, yeah. and the healing process was awful for him. Um, so I had to take an awful lot of time off work and that was my... There was no question about that. He no, needed me at that time. Right. Work was a second and thankfully work were great about that. But um, he definitely regressed in, in some senses, but just... Going through those couple of months of just, well, getting the family back together really helped him. Um, he then started to get his personality back. As you say, he went quite angry little boy there for a while, but it, it soon came back. Yeah. We soon got him back to his, his self again. Yeah. And I would say, I think it was two and a half months then he was able to go back to, to nursery. So yeah, Sonny's at school now. Um, he's six and he's doing really well. Um, one thing that's different from nursery to school is PE. So he now has is in a position where he has to take his clothes off and get undressed in front of other children. Um, where before he was showing his scars off to family and close friends as war wounds, yeah. suddenly he's getting children who are, Ugh, don't go near Sonny. And he's had a few comments yeah. like that. And children do, it's the age. The lack of understanding. Absolutely, wasn't it? but and he didn't know what to do with that. So, um, but the Fab Burns charity have been amazing at getting yeah. him in touch with other children. And in fact, didn't they come and visit the school? They also came to the school and did a talk with the kids there and just educated them um, in what he'd gone through and all the rest of it. So at the moment, he's doing really well yeah. and he's learning to deal with comments from other children really well. I'd say it's definitely not holding them back in any way. Absolutely not. It might no. be. No, yeah, it's it? not. No. As a family, now we're all doing really yeah. well and there is definitely light uh, at the end of the time. And I think Bonnie's actually improved we all quite have. a lot yeah. over the last couple of months. Yeah, definitely. She's getting back to being a normal self. So. She's been seeing Julia, hasn't she? She, she has, has yeah. yeah. And okay. some other people. So it's, yeah. It's, We've recently yeah. done the... Um, the Burns Charity Family Weekend, and um, the team there were great. They specifically put Bonnie, paired her up with another sibling of around the same age, whose younger sister had also been through an accident. So for the first time, Bonnie's met somebody who isn't a victim of a burn, who is a sibling, but kind of gets it. And but who gets it? And they, yeah. we watched them on the play area, just chatting amongst themselves about each other's experiences. And they really openly talk about they their experiences. Really don't they really opened up more so than they ever would with us. Yeah. Actually, yeah. They just, and yeah. it's really nice. And that's to been watch. great for her. And I think Sunny's actually got a lot out of seeing the older boys being yeah. confident and yeah, yeah just it's not holding anyone back and he sees that and I think he actually looks up to them mm. so that's been really positive one thing one piece of advice I could give to another family I've been incredibly lucky 
in that Claire has never blamed me. She, she's always recognised it was an accident and accidents happen and accidents aren't on purpose and it's very unfortunate but you've never ever made me feel bad about it which I, I feel incredibly lucky about. And I know not, you know, not everybody has, has been as lucky as me in these situations because I've heard other families talk and there's been quite a lot of blame and um, and I think moving forward you, you, you really well it's easy for me to say but you kind of can't blame I think it, an accident is an accident so mm-hmm. I would agree with that I mean Sonny's been in my care and fallen off his bike and he's a boy he has accidents all the time um, kids do and I, <laughs> blame just doesn't come into it I think if anything I would say as a family you need to talk talk talk. Fred spoke to nobody for days and went to a very dark place and I remember ringing around his friends and family members and saying please go around and see him, talk to him, um, get him to speak about it. He's going through the most incredible guilt right now and he needs to talk about it so that's a big piece of advice I would say. Stick together as a family and just talk to anybody, to outsiders. Yeah charities, friends, family, just keep talking about it. And i tell you one thing we have found. Mm. There is a lot of guilt attributed to it for, for both our parts. It was my suggestion that they make these cakes in the first place. The accident happened with Fred. I was at work at the time. I wasn't there for my boys. So there's guilt on both sides. And what we have found is every time we have spoken to another family and said, this has happened to us, everybody's got a story everybody's yeah. got a brother niece nephew great uncle that has gone through a burn injury it might be a scold it might have been severe it might Great's not have been yes. hair straighteners cups of coffee but nobody wants to talk about it because of the guilt attributed to it yeah. but we have found the it's minute we open point. up to people and say this is why he's got scars oh that happened to me or that happened to somebody we know and it's much more common than you think um, and that's helped us a lot yeah. to know that we're not alone and everybody does go through these experiences. And I think talking to the other families at some of the meetings yeah. and stuff and hearing their stories and realising how similar people felt and similar the experiences have been, yeah. shared experiences, it kind of helps in a funny kind of way. I don't know why or how it helps but... It certainly does help to talk it about it. Amongst Talking is so important, I think, in hindsight. Okay. Um, my other advice to parents would be, if you have somebody who can be with you in those early days and stay with you, I'd recommend it. We didn't have that, that luxury, um, and we had to split apart. Fred had to go back to Swindon to look after Bonnie, and I was here. I couldn't take any information in, and a lot was given to me in those first few days. If you could have a second pair of ears with you, even have a notebook and a pen and just write stuff down as they're saying it to you or get somebody else to make notes for you, um, I would totally recommend that because you are bombarded with information and also ask questions. As I say, the doctors do this every day. Um, It's clinical procedure for them, but for you it's totally new. You don't know what the dressing changes entail. You don't know what drugs are available what painkillers are there for them, what the long-term aspects are going to be when you get home, what care's in place, what help you've got when you do get home. So ask questions all the way through. Fortunately, we, we don't... I know some people do um, have things like people staring at their kids because they've got injuries and stuff. I've not had an awful lot of that with Sonny, apart from the one time we were in the museum and he had a red face still with lots of Vaseline on and I can remember a, a student walking past a, or a girl of student age turn around and go Ugh. and I don't know why she had that reaction or why she wouldn't kind of I suppose temper that reaction but it just came out anyway and that can hurt um, but I don't know I mean I suppose you you don't expect these kind of reactions from people but you might no come up against that kind you've of you've got thing. to prepare yourself for yeah. that um and you have to prepare your child for that actually um something we mm. i didn't do enough of before sonny started school and because of course because sonny was young he, he was oblivious to anybody staring mm. or 
but the um, older they get. And I think that's something to take from it is that the first few days, their body and their skin is changing all the time and actually can get worse before it gets better. Um, we weren't prepared for that and nobody told us that. I remember every day he seemed to look worse. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. And that's terrifying. But then within three months, I can't tell you the difference yeah. in him. So one thing I would say to parents is how they look today is not what they're going to look no. like in six months. The skin heals so incredibly quickly and to hold on to that. And it's a long journey. It really is. It's still ongoing for us. He's still... Um, it's not going to be quick, but it does change and it does get better.